Greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Peter, and um, today we're looking at a Prometheus Poseidon. Um, I've al I have already done a review of the uh, Prometheus Poseidon Special Edition, um, so you can find that under my videos. But today we'll be looking at the, if you can call this watch normal, the normal Prometheus Poseidon. Right, first of all, it comes in a very nice, pleasing um, watch case here, which um, which doubles as a um, as a travel case. I mean, this would be fine to, to pack in your luggage. Uh, it's it's very well made, very nice indeed. So let's have a look at it. In here, you have the different instruments for um, for working with the watch. Ah, here we have some stay dry stuff. As you can see different uh, instruments to change uh, the lug uh, or to remove the the, um, the, uh, the bracelet and so on very nice indeed well and uh, here it is the watch itself there we are let's have a look at it this is a really nice case I must say I um, I do like when when uh, watch companies uh, you know think about the consumer, and uh, and Prometheus do that, and uh, they, you know it, it just shows that here you have the watch case and it's really well protected. It's very solid, um, and it also you know you, you can use it as a travel case, which is just enormously pleasing. Uh, so you can wear one watch and put the other watch in this, and off you go on holiday. Anyway, enough about that. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the Prometheus Poseidon. It is a um, it is a three thousand five hundred meter diver, and that in itself is a uh, is, is mind boggling. It's uh, you know extremely deep. Um, it's a very beautiful watch. It really is. I mean, it has some stunning details on this. Uh, here you have the helium escape valve. If my if my camera would focus, there you are. The helium escape valve, and uh, look at the. And it's 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 a bit hard to uh, to to see the details of this, but if if you if you notice the way that the, the shine, I have a, a light problem here where I'm making my videos, but I hope you, but notice the way that the that the bezel just uh, is is uh, is shining um, along with the glass. It's 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 a very pleasing look, and um, and the reason for that is is the bezel is a sort of sunken under a um, a, uh, a, a a protective ceramic see through ceramic um, uh, yeah um, what do you call it well the bezel is, is 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 ceramic and underneath that you have the uh, the markings and that just uh, gives a stunning stunning um, effect very nice indeed. Um, the uh, the engine in this is a is a Miyota uh, 1915 automatic movement, and um, you know people go on and off about the Eta, um, um, Miyota versus Eta and all that, and you know the, the, um, there are many things there are pros and cons of both movements, but the Miyotas are without a doubt proven workhorses and they do you know they work and they just they're like kalashnikovs and, and you know they just keep on working you know and uh so i'm i'm not at all not at all worried about the fact that it's a miyota in fact i'm pleased about it it uh you know miyotas are very trustworthy and they just you know like the, the like the duracell bunny they just keep on um and uh yeah so so that's 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 good and uh if we look at the small details, it has um, <clears throat> lug holes that are drilled through, which I which I like um, very much indeed. It makes it easier for everybody to to uh, to, to, to you know to uh, to change. Now the, the the instrument that one uses for that is is packed down in the uh, in the watch case. Um, it has a beautiful little flame here on the uh, on the crown. Obviously, the flame is the mark of Prometheus. Prometheus being the god that actually gave gave fire to humans in ancient Greek mythology, 
and for that he was chained to a mountain uh, and every day um, vultures would come and eat his liver which was apparently very very painful and uh, but because he was a god he would regenerate during the night and then you know the next day the vultures would again come and eat his liver that was Zeus's punishment for for Prometheus to give us humans the fire the means to get out of the of the dark ages of the um, you know absolute earliest mankind um, so that's why I have a flame there beautiful one there it is and um, let's have a look at the back of it uh, there we go there we have I haven't removed the plastic on this but it's very easy to see a very beautiful Poseidon king of the ocean and his trifork very nice indeed very well machined um, the links are, are very well made they, they, they're actually uh, screwed in so you don't have to uh, they're also very easy to take a link out um, you know you don't have to be a trained uh, watchmaker or anything like that to do this it's just you know put on the little screwdriver that also comes in the uh, in the watch case and then you screw them out and that, that, that's it there they are and you change it very easy indeed um, it has a uh, very well, well made um, diver extension. Uh, it works, uh, and and it's very very rough and hard. So no no problems there. You just pull these two backwards, like that, and out it comes. And you can sort of set it. You can pull it all the way out, put it around your wetsuit, and then push it in until it's nice and tight, and it'll stay there. No worries about that. So that's really very very pleasing indeed. Here again. You have the Prometheus and the little flame, also very beautifully done. Um, um, it has a, a very stunning effect. Now it might not show up that well on video, um, but you know the, these um, the hour mark or the yes the, uh, the, the hour markers are, um, have a very stunning look to it. When, when um, you see it's. English not being my first language, I sometimes struggle to find words. Um, it looks as if they're facet. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the correct word for that. But they're made in a sort of facet, thing like a diamond, and, and, and when the light hits it, it gives a very stunning look to it. Um, I'm trying to find, you know, so this might not look that good on film, but in real life it's, it's, it's stunning. Um, <coughs> the case very nice, very stunning, uh, very uh, rubbish, uh, very nice and very uh, tool-like in appearance, tool diver-like in appearance, which I like. Um, it has a very, very nice weight. I can give you some stats on it, if you'll hold on a second. Um, the case diameter is 43 millimeters without the crown. The case height is 15.90 millimeters. The lug width is 22 millimeters. Um, it's water resistant, as I said, to 3,200 meters, or, uh, in other words, uh, 350 ATMs. Um, it has a sapphire glass with anti-reflective coating on the inside, obviously. And please, somebody out there, don't write and say, oh, I wish it had anti-reflective coating on the outside, as you've done, because uh, that would be silly. It would be scratched. Uh, so nobody puts anti-reflective coating on the outside. Um, yeah, and it comes with a two-year warranty. Um, so my overall impression of this watch is it's, it's, it's really stunning. It's a beautiful watch. Uh, to be quite honest, uh, I like this watch a little bit better than the special edition watch. Uh, everything just seems to be, uh, you know, it fits together better somehow. I, I, I you know, this is, uh, that's my humble opinion. I have a problem with that lamp there. I'm going to see if I can turn it away without destroying too much of, uh, of the lighting. Oh, well, maybe I'll have to. So, um, it has a, it, you know, when one, and that's a, the problem about, you know, about films. When one handles a watch in real life, you can sort of feel the quality and, um, and in, enjoy with your fingers. Um, whereas one cannot do that uh, on, on, um, on film. When one is watching a uh, a YouTube uh, uh, show and tell or review, 
So you'll have to take my word for it when I say that this watch has a very nice, very nice feel to it. Everything feels very well made and it's a very pleasing watch. It really is. Um, it's, you know, it's probably one of the most pleasing watches I have hand, I have handled on my, on my show and tells. Uh, it, it, it just, uh, everything just seems to be, uh, to be as it should be here. There is, um, I, you know, one thing, and I, you know, if we're talking pros and cons, and, and this is probably not a con because, you know, uh, the guys and, and girls, uh, dudes and dolls at uh, Prometheus Watches have done this on purpose. So that's what they want. I think my only, my personal opinion about this is I would have liked the lang the, uh, the writing to be, uh, to be, you know, maybe in white. So one much easier could, could read what it says. I think it's supposed to be, uh, you know, um, played down. But, you know, I, I, you end up, if you have bad eyes and so on, you end up with your head, you know, pressed to the glass to see what it says. Um, so that would be the only thing that I would actually change about, about this watch. Um, excuse me a minute. I just suddenly realized that the watch wasn't running, so I'll just give it some quick swirls and uh, you can see how, how it moves. There we are. Um, yeah. So that would be the only thing that I would have liked, uh, f uh, you know, changed in this watch. Everything else is, is really nice. I would have liked the uh, the writing to have been uh, in a, a color that makes it easier to see. Um, but again, it might it, that might you know somehow ruin the effect of this watch. I'm not sure, um, as I, as you all know, I'm not a watch designer. But you know, it, it's just I can only say that if if you've been thinking about getting this watch, do so. It's a, it's a such a pleasing watch. I'll give you a, a wrist shot. Now this watch obviously isn't sized for me, so it's going to be flopping around. Uh, there we go. Um, but I hope I can give you sort of a general impression of what it looks like. It's a very, very good looking watch. Um, yeah, from different angles. It, it, it's, it's, it, is a, it is a very nice watch and I um, yeah, I might buy it if I <laughs> can find the money. Um, anyway, guys, you know, uh, these are my uh, words about the Prometheus uh, Poseidon, uh, 3,500 meter diver. Uh, so from here, from Peter Schoenschel, uh, a big whopping thumbs up to uh, Prometheus uh, for this watch. Very well made, and I, um, and I really like it, I do. To be honest, I, I really like this watch in a lot. So, those were the words about this watch, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if I've left something out, or for some reason you all are angry at me for not talking about one specific thing you were interested in, please remember that there's a reason I call it show and tells and not reviews. I'm not a watch aficionado, I am just a normal dude who makes watch videos. Uh, and I call them show and tells because that I don't dissect the watch in a thousand pieces and talk about each piece. Anyway, those are the words about this watch. Thanks very much, guys. If you li do like the way I do things, uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. And um, I'll catch you on my next watch review. Uh, show and tell. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Peter out. Bye-bye.